We humans are wired. I don't mean through drinking coffee. I mean our nervous system. Our body is full of nerves. And there's an interesting analogy to that. Literally wires. And uh, wires, of course, are coated with uh, insulation. And our nerves are also coated with insulation. We call it the myelin sheath. Well, unfortunately, sometimes that insulation wears away, just like in wires, when the body's immune system, for some unknown reason, attacks itself. And this can cause disease. The classic example is MS, multiple sclerosis. It's an incurable disease. Unfortunately, Canada has one of the highest levels of this condition um, in the world. Obviously, over the years, all sorts of treatments have been tried. It's a multifactorial disease. Undoubtedly, genetics are important. Probably environmental factors are important. We know that uh, we see more MS as you move more north of the equator. Uh, so perhaps a lack of sunshine. So vitamin D has been uh, tried. Uh, the symptoms uh, can be anything from, from uh, uh, tingling sensations to bladder problems to mood changes. And the disease can have various courses. There are often periods of remission. Well, whenever we see a headline like this, boy, do we ever get excited, right? A physician, certainly a knowledgeable person, cures herself of MS with diet alone. Well, of course, the devil is in the details, as it always is. Certainly, Dr. Terry Watts is a legitimate physician, uh, no question about that, and she was stuck in a wheelchair as her disease was progressing, and then she decided to go on a diet. What kind of a diet? Well, the paleo diet. Eat like the caveman. Means eating lots of meat, although I don't think that the caveman had barbecue chickens, but on the other hand, I couldn't find any grass-fed beef. She also recommends eating large amounts of berries, that's what the hunter-gatherers would have uh, eaten. And staying away from grains. No grains of any kind, certainly no sugar in there. And also she recommends staying away from dairy. Well, interestingly enough, she has gotten better. She's out of the wheelchair and she's continuing her practice as a physician. But this is a case of what we call N equals one. Uh, many, many people have listened to her TED talk and undoubtedly have been seduced by the very persuasive arguments. Well, how is it then that physicians, neurologists are not reporting all kinds of people jumping out of their wheelchairs because many have tried this regimen? I don't really know what has happened with Dr. Watts except that she really has gotten better. But over the years, of course, people have tried all kinds of things from acupuncture to homeopathy to bee sting therapy to liberation therapy. That was a big thing a couple of years ago when Italian physician Dr. Paolo Zamboni suggested that MS was due to a buildup of iron in the brain and this was due to a, a lack of sufficient circulation and he suggested balloon angioplasty to, to open up veins in the neck and in the chest. Well, all kinds of people jumped on that bandwagon. There was anecdotal evidence of people getting better. And then finally, the proper studies were done in a double blind fashion. And it turned out that there was just nothing to it. So I really can't say what the situation is with uh, Dr. Watts. It's interesting, but many others have tried all kinds of dietary regimens over the years and have failed. Um, research into MS is, is ongoing. And uh, you have to kind of ask yourself the question, what is the chance that this physician single-handedly has found the solution to this terrible problem that, that hundreds of thousands of researchers all over the world with PhDs, with MDs have been looking at for years and years and have not found the solution? I don't think that it's very likely, although of course it's not impossible because diet probably does play a very large role. Uh, but suggesting, you know, eating uh, 12 cups of berries and vegetables every day and, and giving up dairy and giving up grains of all kinds, uh, there may be something to it, but I don't think it is the whole answer. But I love blueberries, as you well know, and uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with eating chicken, although I diet that mostly is plant-based is something that is everyone is recommending these days. So uh, intriguing study, but um, I'm not getting too excited about that because uh, 
the MS patients are not jumping out of their wheelchairs.